Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023-24 Tops Finest UEFA Club Competition Soccer. A little bit of footy coming at you here from a fresh case. Another case loaded up if you want to get after it. Big thanks to this group for making it happen here on Monday the 20th of May. I'm just about a week away from the end of, end of May already. A week and a few days, there you go. And then thanks to Rob for snagging the last handful of teams. Appreciate you. A lot of last spot mojo opportunities. Empty box and away we go. Two autos a box on average. Here's some of the players that we're looking for, especially Barcelona's Lamine Yamal, I think is one of the big chases, at least for rookies here. It's just a little uh, Topps Total Football advertisement. We'll have a lot of soccer happening this summer, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I guess first off, first off, I think all the European leagues are all done, right? So on the last day of the uh, season, not that there was gonna be any doubt, it's unlikely that Man City was gonna lose that match. But, um, but yeah, they ended up winning the English Premier League with 91 points, followed by 89 for Arsenal, 82 for Liverpool. And then it drops all the way to 68 for Aston Villa. But Aston Villa, for the first time in who knows how long, uh, are going to be in the Champions League, top four. And then it was uh, Luton Town, Burnley, which I think J.J. Watt invests in. And uh, Sheffield were, uh, were relegated. And then who got promoted? I think Leicester City, Ipswich Town, and Leeds. I think Leicester City and Ipswich, I, I, think, I think, are coming up at least. And then there was a playoff. We'll take a look at the other leagues in the next couple boxes or so, but here we go. All card ship, and this here's our first auto coming up. First of all, there's Dominic Sobislai for my club Liverpool, 17 out of 50, mini diamonds. And there's a Theo Zidane for Real Madrid. Some color as well, 42 out of 99. It's going to go to Rob, who picked up the Real Madrid Juventus combo spot. The Zobo Sly will go to Rob, who's got Liverpool as well. Last season for Jurgen for a charismatic coach, Jurgen Klopp. There's Natan, 6 out of 99 for Napoli. That'll be for Robert. And Arne Slot from Fire Nude is going to be uh, the new. Uh, I think he's from Fire Nude. For, uh, is going to be the new. Um, New Liverpool boss. There's Yamal again. Barcelona will get all those. Rob has Barcelona. Now we'll do top bottom randomizers for these uh, comeback cards. We got uh, Jeremy Doku, 223 out of 299 for Man City. The Erlen Holland as well. Brian Heyman with Man City. We got Carlos Baleva for Brighton, 275. That'll be for Ian.
Ronaldinho, and behind Musa is uh, Paris Brunner for Borussia Dortmund. It's got Dortmund. Bob has Dortmund. Right, so here's our second autograph of the box. I'll do a little recap at the end. Next box in Ligue 1. Ligue 1. Um, I think Paris Saint-Germain has won Ligue 1 for like the last however many years, right? Uh, yeah, they, they ran away with the league, 76 points. AS Monaco is next closest at, uh, at 67. In the, uh, in the Bundesliga, right, Bayer Leverkusen. Leverkusen winning the title running away. 90 points to Stuttgart, 73. And Bayern Munich was behind them, 72 points. Red Bull Leipzig, 65 points. And Dortmund with 63 points. Uh, in Serie A, Inter Milan won the title with 93 points. AC Milan was just behind them, 74 points, way behind them. Bologna with 68 points, Juventus 68 points, Atalanta 66 points. And in La Liga, Real Madrid won the league with 94 points, Barcelona is behind them with 82, Girona 78, Atletico Madrid with 73, it rounds out the top four there. There's prize footballers, Yamal. And there's uh, Alex McAllister to 299, revealing a Mohamed Semakan for Red Bull Leipzig. 60 out of 199. Purple shimmer autograph going to Carlos. Another Yamal for Rob, all those, all those keep adding up. Rob also gets McAllister. The Argentinian won a World Cup. Oh, and there's Dembele to 250 for PSG, Paris Saint-Germain, that's gonna be for Rob. And there's James uh, Tavernier, 31 out of 250. Tavernier, know, for Rangers, a Scottish team. That's going to be for uh, all other teams, I believe. Yeah, Eddie Harden with the all other teams not listed. We got Jude Bellingham, Green Lava, 56 out of 99 for Real Madrid. It's going to be for Rob. And then we got Mukoko to 135 for Dortmund. That's going to be for Bob. Bob and Rob. Got a Bob, a Rob, and a Robert in this break. And then we have Diogo Jota. Nice. That's for my club, Liverpool. Rob with Liverpool, one of the last bought Mojo teams. Big fan of Diogo Jota. I feel like he has some injury issues that have kind of derailed him, but if he can stay healthy. Great player, fun player to watch. There's a lot of talk about Mohamed Salah leaving 
Liverpool this season. A lot of rumors he was going to leave last summer, but he made some comments that seemed to suggest that he was going to going to stay. But I think he's going into the last year of his deal, so I don't know if he's going to get maybe not get any younger, but I think I think Liverpool should give him a they can give him a year or two. A little extension, two, three year extension, I think would be would be nice. There's Gavi, uh, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang to 135, and Darwin Nunez, another Liverpool player. This guy has been a little bit of an, an enigma on the club. He seems to score difficult goals very well, but seems like an absolute sitter. I feel like he'll just miss. It's sort of a weird season for him, a couple seasons for him, but still young, still has some talent. So we'll see how he evolves. We get another Pierre Emerick Aubameyang to 99 for Marseille. That's going to be for Rob. Right, Kevin Kelsey for uh, Shakhtar Donetsk. 174 out of 299. That's going to go to the all other teams. Eddie H. Uh, Santiago Jimenez, 10 out of 25. Orange. There's Mohamed Salah and the next auto coming up. Behind Marco Royce, 29 out of 275. I heard that he might, did I read something? He might be looking at maybe coming to the MLS, Major League Soccer here in the States. It's Rico Lewis, orange, uh, orange wave autograph to 25. Man City, Brian. You know what? I I think I think La Liga might have one more game, but I they, I mean I think Real Madrid's still way far ahead of Barcelona. I think, I think from the championship, Leicester, Ipswich should be promoted. From the championship up, who's, where's the third team? Maybe they're not done with those playoffs yet. Oh, and the third team is going to be between Leeds and Southampton. 
who have been up in the Premier League before, but they play on the 26th. So that'll determine who's going to... The first two teams will advance automatically to the Premier League, and then the third team is determined by, by playoffs. I think four teams will be dumped into to, uh, to a playoff two-leg playoff system and then and then a one-leg final. So that gets to be pretty fun because getting promoted to the Premier League, huge deal. There's Antoine Greitzman to 275. The club gets a big cash infusion. I'm sure there's bonuses involved. Salaries can go up. You know, better for the club overall. There's Ronaldinho, prize footballer, so 299, nice. To uh, going to Rob in Barcelona. There's Ciro Immobile, 40 out of 150 for Lazio. That'll be for all other clubs. It's for Eddie. Harry Kane to 199, Purple Shimmer. And Isaac Babadi for PSV Eindhoven. That's going to go to Eric Leal and PSV. Couple, no, just one Eric in this break. There's an Eddie and an Eric. And the Harry Kane will go to Bayern Munich. That'll be for Rob. There's uh, Antonio Malambo, 63 out of 75 for Fair Nude. That's going to be for uh, Brendan. Uh, and there's the next auto. There's Micah Hamilton. And there's his rival, Luke Shaw, 105 out of 150. Man United, that's going to go to Rob. And Brian, you'll get the uh, Michael Hamilton uh, 12 out of 125 green speckle. Another box. Uh, the Europa League. When is that? Wednesday the 22nd. So that's this Wednesday. It'll be the Europa League final. In Dublin. That's Atalanta and Bayer Leverkusen. And Bayer Leverkusen, of course. Um has won the league. They're on a 51 game unbeaten streak? Jeez. And they've got a chance to win the Europa League, which will give them automatic entry into the next year's Champions League. Which was not always the case. I think maybe as recently as maybe a few years ago, five years ago maybe? Europa League just got you a trophy and not much else. So there wasn't really any teeth to that competition. And here is Omari Forsen. Autograph. First class rookies auto. Nice Rob with Man United. But yeah, so Europa League would always just be like, I don't know, a, a very big annoyance to the clubs that get them because, you know, you're traveling all around Europe for a less prestigious competition, a competition that frankly doesn't generate a lot of TV revenue for, for the participating clubs and just ends up being a big expense. Here's a, a Manqua Forsen, 27 out of 199. Related? 
That's for Salzburg. That's going to go to Bob. You know, their Wikipedias don't say, but... I think they are related. Alright, onwards. We got on to Fati to 250. Yamal. And what is this? Whoa! Marks of Excellence autograph. King Kenny. Kenny Dalgleish. Wow. Liverpool. Rob. With Liverpool. That's the legend. Twenty-three out of fifty. Look how young he looks there. That's an awesome hit. Legend. And there's Julian Durnarville, Duranville, one thirty five out of one fifty. First class rookies for Dortmund. That's going to be for Bob. And we got Ricardo Pepe for Eindhoven. 55 out of 99. He's with Eindhoven. That's going to go to Eric. And we got Newerton, 94 out of 299 for Shakhtar Donetsk. That's going to be for Eddie. And there's Dyson Maeda. 19 out of 25. That's for Celtic. That's going to go to Eddie. All right, three more to go. Pretty solid break so far. The auto still left. And then the so the Europa League championship Wednesday. We got Europa League teams in this very set right here. I like that they have the Europa badge and they'll have like a Champions League badge right there. I like how they separate those two teams out. But the big one, the UEFA Champions League final, Saturday, June 1st. And that's Dortmund versus Real Madrid. So two, two German clubs having nice successful seasons in European club competition. Behind Erlen Holland is Rico Lewis, his teammate for Manchester City. Brian Heyman. I think by Erlen Holland standards, I think he kind of had a down year, but it's kind of scary. Manchester City still won the league. Didn't matter.
All right, we've got Christian Pulisic, four out of 10. Nice low number on that one, AC Milan. That's gonna be for Kevin. Robert Lewandowski, 275. Barcelona, it's gonna be for Rob. Martin Odegaard, 99 out of 275 for Arsenal. Carlos with the Gunners. And then behind Rico Lewis to 299, the next autograph is Santiago Jimenez for Fair Nude. Not numbered. Uh, that's Brendan with Fair Nude. We also have the Euros. This is gonna be a busy soccer soccer time period here. The Euros are coming up, the big UEFA uh, competition with all the big European clubs. I think Germany is hosting it. And then on Friday in mid-June, Friday the 14th, which I think also US Open Golf Weekend. It's gonna be a busy sports weekend. And Father's Day weekend. Germany, Scotland will be the opening match. And then for the weekend, Hungary, Switzerland, Spain, Croatia, Italy, Albania, Poland, Netherlands on Sunday, Slovenia, Denmark, Serbia, England. And then I think there should be some Olympic soccer happening. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure what else is happening. I think all the, I feel like all the major conferences will be having, um, right, we'll have, their conference competitions. Right, is Copa America doing stuff? I think so, yeah, Copa America starts in, in June. And so that's all the clubs between North America and South America, right? United States plays Bolivia Sunday, June 23rd. It's a little bit after the Euros start. And then are we doing soccer in the Olympics? I think there'll be soccer in the Olympics as well, in Paris. Not sure how the soccer works. Oh, you know what? I think for the men, it'll be the under 20, under 20 something teams. So they'll be playing, that's on the men's side. They'll be playing in the Olympics while the Euros are happening. There's prize footballers, Vinny. That looks like a different parallel. Because prize footballers usually looks like this. So this Vinny Jr. will go to Real Madrid. It'll be for Rob. I think the women's soccer teams, though, are, are the uh, all the full senior squads. It's Garvidal for Man City to 199. And there's Alexis McAllister to 275. Behind him is 
Benjamin, Benjamin Heinrichs for Leipzig. That's going to go to Carlos. So there's going to be a lot of football happening this summer. A lot to keep an eye out on. Big European and South and North American club, uh, country competitions. Big one in Europe. And then the women in the, uh, in the Olympics. And there's Bradley Barcola to 290. So I think it's a good time, if you're thinking about it, to maybe get into some of these finest breaks. All right, most of these guys are, are on their are on their uh, their country play for their country. There's Danilo uh, Sikan for Donetsk. That's to one fifty. That's for all their teams. Eddie and Oscar Gluck for Salzburg. That's gonna be for Bob. So if any one of these teams kind of do well in their club or in their uh, country competitions, whichever one they may be in, it's good for the hobby. You know, might make a little, uh, if you're just looking for profits, might, might do well there, or just future value might just increase the value of some of the cards you might have. So it's, it's a good time to do it. And do it, and do it now. There's Micah Hamilton to 199. You know, it's gonna be too late, I think, if, um, I think it's gonna be too late if you, uh, if you start after the, 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 all the different international competitions. Far too many people who are like, man, I should have bought that before. Everyone says that with with stocks, Bitcoin, the hobby. So with all these international competitions coming up this summer, very soon, be sharp, you know, grab some teams. Even if you don't know anything about soccer, I would just grab a team for whatever you feel like paying, you know, whatever your budget may be, grab a team, all card ship, and then you can just be like, all right, are, these, are any of these guys, you can do, have a little fun. You always wanted to get into soccer but didn't know where to start. This might be a good way to start. It's Joshua Kimmich to 50. And then you can be like, oh yeah, I've got this guy's card. Let's see if he does well in whatever tournament he's in. Bayern Munich, that'll be for Rob. And there's a uh, finest total football, Warren Zaire Emery. And it's a special insert. And Nico Paz is the rookie auto. That's going to be for Rob and Real Madrid. And this one's for PSG, also for Rob. There's a Shirandi Sambo for Eindhoven to 150. Be for Eric Leal. And there's Gustav Isaksen, 69 out of 275 for Lazio. That's going to go to the all other teams. It's for Eddie. And there's your final autograph for Fair Nude. All right, I feel like all those numbered cards always stick together for some reason. There's Ayase Uede for Fair Nude. That's going to be uh, for Brendan. And Pepe is behind uh, Sikan. That's uh, for Porto, 197 out of 299. That's going to go to all other teams not listed. And here are a couple other cards right here. And that is that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let me do this uh, top-bottom randomizer really quick. 
Although I feel like the losing team here doesn't, they don't really want that card, but anyway. Let's go to random.org, new list right there. We'll go top, bottom, and let's roll it and randomize it. Three and a three, six the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Top side, we'll get them after six. So top teams right there, Liverpool did win that one. All right, and a quick little recap. Thanks everybody for watching. I did load up another case. So check it out. Kenny Dog Leash was really awesome. Darwin Nunez, Liverpool had a really nice break. And there you have it. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next footy break. Bye-bye.